Hey man, what's going on? Bill here. Part 2 of Intermittent Fasting. Now, for this part right here, we're going to take a little bit deeper of a dive to figure out the basics of, you know, how many calories you should be consuming a day. A lot of people, when they do intermittent fasting, they're like, oh, I can eat whatever I want, and I can eat however much I want, and that's kind of true to a point. You can eat what you want, but how much? You know, that's the kicker. Now, if you have 10,000 calories a day, like Michael Phelps or Lance Armstrong back in the day or whoever, I can guarantee this is not going to work. And I don't care who you are. It's just not going to happen. Uh, not to lose weight anyway. So what I want you to learn how to do is to figure out the basics of how many calories you should be consuming per day. Now, the way we're going to do that is I want you to go ahead and log into MyFitnessPal.com. It's a free app and it's a free website, so go check it out. They have a paid version of it. You don't really need it, honestly, but you can get it if you want to. But the free one works perfectly fine. Now, you're going to go ahead to there, log in your basic information, you know, weight, height, sex, age, you know, your activity levels, all that fun stuff. And honestly, be completely honest with them. Because the more honest you are with them, the more accurate your number is going to be. And when the more accurate your number is going to be, the better results you're going to get when it comes to losing weight. So, be honest with it, okay? Now, when you do that, it's going to give you a number. And let's just say, you know... If I wasn't trying to lose weight right now, it would say, I don't know, let's say I would probably consume 2,500 calories or so, something like that. Well, let's say if you're looking to lose weight, though, I'm guessing it's going to give you a number closer to 2,000, all right? These are just easy numbers to kind of work with right now. Now, when you do intermittent fasting, and it gives you a 2,000 calorie number, so you can go ahead and still lose weight. That's basically meaning that you can have two meals of uh, 1,000 calories a piece, or what you can do is have three smaller meals around like 6,500, 7,100 calories per meal if you want to do three meals per day. And that way it kind of gives you an idea of what to break it up as. Now use that app to track what you're eating so you actually know you have concrete evidence that shows you basically what you've been doing, what you need to do. Because again, if you guys are consuming way too many calories, it doesn't matter what meal, diet thing, or whatever you're on, it's not going to work. All right guys, that's it for today. Peace out. We'll talk soon.